But if we tune into Christ, if we tune into the Holy Spirit, if we turn into Jesus, we basically are going to be giving our instructions, because that's really how it works. You know, we've heard about that, about the Holy Spirit. He will go before you, making straight your path and leaving in your way no obstacles to trip on and no, nothing to bar your way. It's just going to be a clear pathway if you are willing to tune in and listen. And it was beautiful that Dove mentioned that we're just, just about getting in touch with your internal teacher. It's not how long you study the Course. It doesn't have anything to do with time or actually study, but it actually is all designed to put you in touch with your internal teacher. And then once that happens, once that link is made, then your way is set. Now, what does that mean, your way is set? It means that the Spirit will go before you and it will give you everything that you're to say and to do. Every person you're to meet. Every place you're to move. We, we follow. The plan is very specific. Very specific. So you're given what you're to do. You don't have to like analytically figure it out. You don't have to weigh the pros and cons. You don't have to say, try to figure out your future. You actually just have to stay tuned in, moment by moment, and let the plan be given to you. If any of you have ever read, you know, Lesson 135, basically in there we're told, a healed mind is relieved of the belief that it must plan. And it also goes on to say, if there are plans, you will be told of one who knows, from one who knows. That's obviously Jesus and the Holy Spirit. So, I like that word relieved. Relieved of the belief that you must plan. Wow, that sounds very relaxing. <laughs> that sounds like that's worthy of our, our effort and attention. To come to that. There's even a part in that lesson, you know, where he just gives some conditions, like Dove was talking about conditions for peace, and basically the conditions come in there basically saying you really have to be clueless. You, clueless. you can't even know the problem that the plan was made to solve. Wow, I can't even know the problem that the plan was made to solve, because why? Because the Holy Spirit is here to overlook the problem entirely. We're to come into a state of mind, that's what the plan of salvation is, where we're so in divine innocence, we're so in divine connection, divine love, that we cease to see a problem. If the Holy Spirit looks and, and everything and everyone sees Himself, then that must mean love. That must mean everything and everyone is to be perceived in forgiveness, and then ultimately experienced as just our self, just one self as the Christ. An idea in the mind of God. So, this is very different from problem-solving approaches in the world, where we're kind of asked to define the problem. You know, that's one of the keys in science, you know, find out what the problem is. In business, find out what your problem is, so you can go and go for the solution. But with A Course in Miracles, he's saying, no, if you're going to go for the atonement, that solution, which is our one sole responsibility, then you're going to have to be quite clueless about the world. If you still want to bring past learning, it's going to block your acceptance of the atonement.